Welcome to the Mr. DBSB, and Mr. Courgette, Chili, and Zombie Experience. Experience. I swear it just gets smoother and smoother, doesn't it? Nah, that was like a cobbled road of smooth. Excellent, excellent. No Romans here. <laughs> um, uh, yes, this is episode 44. 44 times we've practiced that. Yeah, exactly. And, and <laughs> at least one of you is still watching, apparently. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Um, God, someone still watches this. Hiya, whoever you are. Um, cool. So, um, as always, we have a film and a source. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. Filmy, saucy, saucy, filmy. Should we start with the source? I think we should. So, um, today, it's a company we've reviewed from before, a company called Fair Dinkum Fair, and this is their hot sauce called The Barbie. Ooh. They're not playing up to any Australian... No, no, no. Stereotypes I mean, at all. We haven't. Uh, we definitely haven't tried one of their sauces called Struth at no, all, have no, we? No. Yes. No. Yes. 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 Um, so yeah, the Barbie. I'm guessing is a barbecue sauce. Um, yeah. Cool. Cool. What's in it? Um, what is in it is chilies, garlic, beer. Sugar, salt, red wine, vinegar, and water. So sounds nice easy, to me. Easy, and it's delicious in cold meat sandwiches. Apparently, uh, or if you're vegan or vegetarian, delicious in sandwiches. Yes. Mm. Just bread. Yes. Mm. So should we get a spoon? Yes. Let's do spoons. I get the feeling it's a very liquidy sauce. Okay. You know you want to. That one and that one. Or we could go for that one. But I'm there's a, that one. The trouble is, there's only one of those. This is true. I'm having this one. All right. <laughs> I'm not going to feel it. Well, well. <laughs> you might feel it. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we? Right. All right. Are you ready? Catchy hand. Here. It's had a good shape, but I can tell it's going to come out. Oh. Let's try that. You can always have some more. Right. You can very much smell the vinegar. Yes. Yes. But yeah. Getting a bit of the onion coming through as well. Yeah. Yeah, pickled onions is what it smells Ooh. like. There you go. Before I spill it all over the sofa, should we give it a go? Yeah. Mm. Worcester sauce, quite Worcester saucy. Yeah. There's a nice little, tiny little tingle little, that comes through. A little bit of something like a date. Yeah. You know what I mean? That yeah, kind it's quite, of it's quite a sweet barbecue sauce. Um, it's got a bit of a build. It's yeah. It's not killer, but it's got a nice little build. You had a lot more than me. <laughs> uh, but it's uh, definitely on the tip of your tongue mm. kind of mm. heat. No, nothing to, I think... What, it's not killer. It's got a nice tang to it. It's definitely the sort of thing that I think would be a marinade rather than a... Um, I'm going to disagree with the description on that. I don't think it's one to put in sandwiches. I think it is like a nice marinade one. So for those of you watching at home, slice your tofu maybe about a centimetre thick. Baste it either side and put it in the fridge overnight before you cook it. Yeah, I think it's... it's a it's quite salt. It'd be too. It's, I think it's too salt for for a sandwichy kind of. No, thing. I was gonna say to on tofu would really bring, give it some good flavour. Might be nice doing a similar thing, but with aubergine. Ooh, what you mean like cut it in half, baste it a bit, yeah. and then maybe bake it. Yeah, that could work. Yeah, yeah cause the salt would bring the liquid out. Yeah, the, uh... yeah, yeah. But no, I think I'm a fan of that. I think yeah. Mm. Fair dinkum, another fair dinkum sauce. Yeah, not yeah. too bad. Cool. I should put the lid on that before I spill it everywhere. So we've had the sauce component of the evening. Mm. Uh, where's the zombie component? Well, DBSB, I'm glad you asked me that. So, um, you know, 
as you know, we are Chili and Zombie reviewers who don't quite like to play by the rules. Yeah. So, um, we are watching a film all about rebellion. Go. Go. About. Cross town rivals who don't like the cut of each other's jib. Oh, things could get feisty. Sorry. This is Disney Zombies. Wow. Yes, um, yeah, two cool. high schools are forced to merge, and um, this is the tale of people from the opposite sides of the tracks who try to bring the schools together. Ah. So, I mean, all, intrigue, shock and awe, um, all with a PG rating. I mean, what more could you possibly want? Uh, yeah, what more could you want? Possibly a lot of alcohol to get through the film. <laughs> um, but yes, it's so like Disney zombies, um, which will... Is it actually a Disney film? Yes, it's not, actually... Not just someone going... <laughs> no, no, it is a Disney film. Oh, wow, oh, okay. Yes, this is, this is Disney's cash-in on the zombie vibe. Oh, right, okay. So... Um, we will give this a watch, and I'm you... waiting for them to do yeah. Muppet Zombies. I oh, see Muppet Zombies would be brilliant. Muppet Zombies, um, yes. Yeah, if they did Muppet Babies. Oh no, no. Do you know what? I'm going to one up you on Muppet Zombies. Fraggle Rock Zombies. Oh, Fraggle Rock Zombies. That'd be good. Yeah. You mentioned the doozers going. The doozers. Mad. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you'll be able to tell by the state of us how good or bad the film was at the end. Well, that was Disney Zombies. I mean, they were zombies who played by the rules. Yeah, very much so. Very much so, playing by the I rules. Mean, it, I mean, look, it's Disney. You know what you're getting. It is basically the paint-by-numbers, high school musical-type film with zombies. There was also something else which is which is kind of fed into uh, Disney lore. Oh, go on. Uh, when they were saying about the lime soda oh yes creating the zombies and within Disney lore evil stands for every villain is lime and if you notice oh. all the bad guys in Disney films have lime green lime yellow oh. as a thing that connects them all okay. which I thought was a spicy meatball excellent and you know, and all the re uh, all the the zombies had green hair. Yes. It, yeah, that was a really nice little zombie, uh, not zombie, Disney touch. Awesome. I, I did not know. You that. didn't know about every villain is lime. I did not know that. Facts from DBSB. Facts. Yeah. No. If you look back at all the bad guys, in, I think there's a couple of films where it doesn't happen in, but they all have lime green as a as a thing that ties them in so you know who the bad guy is. Cool. Every so, day's a school day. Yes. Yeah. Well, back to school, as it were. So, um, it was a very, it's very, does what it says on the tin, it's a high school zombie film. Yeah. The kids from across the tracks. Um, it's kind of part West Side Story, part Hairspray, part Disney's commentary on whether Trump's Mexican wall is going to create a second apartheid. Yeah. But let's not go there because we want to talk about the fun of zombies and should well, we break into song? Oh. Um, there are a lot of songs. There are a lot of songs. There's a lot of auto tune. Yeah, and they're all done in a very um, modern pop way. Yes. Uh, I'd, I'd almost rather they were old school musicals, but then I do live in Brighton. Oh. I have to, it took it took notes from other zombie films. So um, in Fido, where post zombie apocalypse, uh, the zombies are controlled by dog collars, and in this film they're controlled by wristbands. Okay. And uh, again, the zombie the town. Where yes. was the? There was a film that we watched which had zombie town, and it was literally the one which had UFO a UFO in it. Uh, and there was like literally a town where the zombies lived and it was separated by a big wall and I can't I, it, it was really reminiscent of that but taking out all the the cool stuff about zombies and just turning them into 
emos. It, it really was emo zombies, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, they are teenagers though, pale. so you know. Well, even the adult ones. Oh, <laughs> the, yeah. Yeah, there was there was no real, you know, the the worst thing that the zombies did was, was get good at American football. Well, I mean, look, it is uh, what one it of is. the things that whenever I watch a high school movie, it makes me so glad that I didn't grow up in America because I didn't, you know, I, I didn't have the worst time in the world in at school, but I really think I would have had a really, really bad time in American style film high schools because I just, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't that weird. But it wasn't that for normal? I, you know, I just, just, I just, I just fall through the net of of American high schools. But enough about me. <laughs> um, there are no deaths to talk about. We can't tell you about any innovative deaths or any innovative near deaths. Um, there was there were so few deaths in here that it makes Bambi look like a bloodbath. Yeah. Um, but it's fun. Uh, yeah, it's it's kind of fun if you yeah. want to uh, teach your children about racism without actually mentioning <laughs> racism at all or any references to it and giving them an unrealistic idea on how to fight the man, uh, get them to watch this because, um, you know, change will come but don't do direct action, OK? <laughs> That's what I got from this. There is nothing I can add. <laughs> Disney Zombies. If you like songs and doing what you like, told. Disney, and uh, and you want to live in a society where zombies aren't allowed dogs, then watch Disney Zombies.